Hey guys, so that was ED8s. In ED8s, I did get a lot of really good deals in ED8s, but I spent probably, um, hmm. I would, so it's a free day weekend. I probably spent 20 plus hours at various stores picking this stuff up. I don't know, we had a blast. So I was with my friend and we had a really good time. This I picked up for a quarter a piece. I know this is not a quarter a piece. So picked up a lot of these. This card used to be expensive. I don't know if it's pricey more. I know this card is expensive. I know this is like a dollar. I have no idea why I picked these up and I was able to pick up four of these, which were fantastic. So I went to various stores in Dallas and pretty much we just did the bulk bin. My friend is very casual. Uh, she does not play competitive. She does not even play FNM. So she's always looking for these random weird cards. So I'm like, okay, cool. We'll do this. Um, we'll spend a weekend. I think it was, we spent Friday, part of Friday, part of Saturday and part of Sunday looking for just cards that she wanted for her casual kitchen table deck. And at the same time, I was just looking for value because I don't really need kitchen table cards. I have tens of thousands of those cards just lying around at my home. So essentially that's what we did. Uh, I had a really good time and it was really fun. It reminds me of when I first started like picking cards up and going through bulk bins and things that it, stores just don't it, most stores didn't we went to a store that uh sold sports cards in dallas and they didn't even know like they didn't have any good magic cards but they did have just random okay stuff worth like a dollar or two i think i got the naco amoebas from them as well as the ghost quarters so it, it's also a fun time i would say that it's not the best utility of your time, but it's a great experience, especially if you're going with a friend. I would never do it myself, but if you're going with a friend and you can just talk and hang out and then you can reflect on all these old cards. Because when I was younger, we didn't have good cards. Like that 6-4 uh, green creature, like for six, that was considered really good when I used to play. Like if you could drop that and turn six, you were pretty good. If your starting hand was six forest and then the crawl warm, and you drop that 6-4 for a 6, that was considered pretty good. Like That was considered a winning hand, a hand that you kept every time. And it's just fun to see all these old cards from like Stronghold and um, Tempest and just like random cards that you, I think we see you even got a Unburial Rite. I think that's worth a few, no, a Shallow Grave or something like that, which is a lot more money than it is now. Uh, no Lion's Eye Diamonds though, but you can, it's just a bunch of fun to look at old cards and just um, talk about like when we used to play and uh, it was, it was a great experience. I recommend um, people do that because it's becoming harder and harder to do. And it's cause these cards sit at these places where it's still, they don't sell magic cards anymore and they just have boxes of them. And eventually they will throw out the boxes because there's no reason to keep storage space because storage space is if you work in retail or um, if you look at any walmart storage space that is the critical component for card game so shops they can only put display so many card games and that's why my card game shops my local my local game shops are getting rid of like buddy fight and force of will because it's not it's taking up too much space and it's not selling uh, the same with magic cards to a lot of these places they just take up space and they don't sell magic cards uh, traditionally they don't sell new sets so uh, they just sit there anyway i highly recommend you guys going on flea markets or card shop hopping as i call it and just uh, you might be able to find some value not enough value in my opinion to justify like the hours spent but it's a lot of fun bye